Okay, this is Cars All the Time, Car Search Engine. I'm Ju, your host. And I am Kelly, your co host. And we have a car for you today. What car is it? 1941 to 1942 Willis AmeriCar. Yes, and this is one old car. And we're talking about some ugly ass car. Take a look at that car. Take a look. Let me kind of up a little bit. You'll see both those cars right there. Okay. It's, the car was produced from 1937 to 1932, either as a sedan, coupe, or station wagon. And it, uh, the coupe version is a very popular choice, uh, either as a donor car or as a fiberglass model. Only the 1941 and 1942 models were called AmeriCar. 441 and 442 models respectively. Following the patriotic trend of the time, it sold 22,000 units in 1941 and 7,000 more in 1942. The price was about $630. That's a small price. But that was way back then when salaries were probably $100 a month back then. As war broke out, civilian production was abandoned by all U.S. motor companies in order to assist the military, and the AmeriCar was no exception. However, Willis was one of the companies awarded a contract to produce the highly successful Jeep. You know about the Jeep, right? Oh yeah, they're built today. Now, after the end of the war, they managed to secure the trademark on the Jeep name and the much higher sales of its civilian CJ version kept the Toledo firm from resurrecting the pre-war models, sealing the fate of the AmeriCar. Despite failed attempts in 1940 and 1945, both times with Frazier's 666 prototype, which I don't even know what that looks like. I have no idea. Do you? No, I don't. You don't have a a photo of your back pocket? No, I don't. Wow. Sorry. The, the 1942 AmeriCar would be Willis's Overland Final Civilian's Passenger Car model. There are three variations. The Speedway, Deluxe, and Plainsman offered each with a coupe and sedan plus a deluxe three-door woody wagon. You know what a woody wagon is? No, I don't. A woody wagon is like they put wood all around the car. Oh, wow. And it, it is real wood. The big molding here and big molding down there, all wood, all the way around the car. That's called wow. a woody wagon. Wow. That's the reason why they call it that. And we're hoping you're enjoying the history of the cars that we're talking about since we're here in Costa Rica enjoying ourselves and all. So, you know what? This is another show. Well, I guess we're going to have to sign out, aren't we? Yes. See ya! See ya.